This lesson is going to be over function notation and word problems. All right, on the OGT, um, the high graduation test, you will see these types of problems. The first problem says, the first five terms of a sequence are given in the table. For this, for this sequence, which of these represents the relationship between n, the number of the term, and t, its corresponding value? <coughs> so, what equi this, all this is saying is which equation down here matches the input-output table up here. So, my suggestion would be to take these values and plug them into the equations at the bottom to see which ones are true. So, the first one says t equals n squared plus 1. So, I'm going to start with my first um, term here. So, t equals n squared n is 1 squared plus 1 equals 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2 so that is true let's try the next one t equals 2 times 1 plus 1 we're substituting our n values not our t okay our n values so 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so this one is not true. The next one, t equals 3 times 1 minus 1. So 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2. So that could be. The next one, 2n squared. I put n instead of the number. minus 1, so 1 squared is 1, 1, 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so this is not true. So it could be A or C. So because it could be A or C, we're going to pick the next value down to see if it's true, which one is true out of that one. So now we're going to do N equals 2. So, and we're only going to do it with A and C because those are the only two that were true for the first term. So, T equals N squared, which is 2 squared, plus 1, and then T equals 3N, which is 2 minus 1. So, let's see which one equals 5. 2 squared is 4, plus 1 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5. Uh-oh, they both work. So let's try a different term. Alright, the next one is n equals 3. So t equals 3 squared plus 1. t equals <clears throat> 3 times 3 minus 1. Okay, so we're looking for it to equal 10. So 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10. 3 squared is 9 minus 1 is 8. Uh-oh, we found 1. So it has to be n squared plus 1 has to be a. The next one says the table below contains the results of a biology experiment. Assuming the pattern shown in the table continues, what is the value of B? So we're looking for this value here. So we need to figure out the pattern. So to get from 3 to 9, you either plus 6 or multiply by 3. To get from 9 to 27, You either plus 18 or multiply by 3. To get from 27 to 81, you either plus 54 or multiply by 3. So, we need to find the pattern that is consistent. So, in each one of these sections, there's something that's the same and it's multiplied by 3. 
So the pattern, obviously, is that you have to multiply by 3. So to get from 81 to B, we have to multiply by 3. So 81 times 3, you can do your calculator or do it by hand. 3 times 1 is 3. 8 times 3 is 24. So it has to be D. The table below shows values for X and Y. Which, relation, which of these equation represents the relationship between X and Y? So again, you're going to take these values and substitute them into the equations to see which one is true. So let's start with the first one. We're going to start with X is 0. Okay? If X equals 0, 0 minus 1, that equals negative 1. That is true. If X is 0, 0 plus... 19, that equals 19. That is not true. x squared would be 0 squared minus 1 is negative 1, so that could be true. And 2 times 0 squared minus 5, which this is 0 minus, it would be negative 5. So it could be A or C. So let's try another one. Let's try x is 1. So if x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. That is true. If x is 1, 1 squared minus 1, 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, we need to try another one. 2 and 3. 2 minus 1 is 1, or 2 squared minus 1 2 squared is 4, minus 1 is 3. So C has to be correct, because it was correct for all the ones that we have tried. All right. The depth of a lake is measured at the same location and on the same day every year for a number of years. The table below shows the measurements. If the pattern continued, what was the depth of the lake in 2002? So, the only thing we need to do here is we need to figure out the pattern. Since 2001 is here, we know 2002 is going to be here. So, from 60 to 55 is minus 5. 55 to 48 is minus 7. 48 to 39 is minus 9. So the pattern is 5, 7, 9. So 5, 6, 7, minus 2, 7, 8, 9, minus 2. Okay, so 5, 7, 9. So it's going to be a minus 11. So 39 minus 11 So 9 minus 1 is 8 and 3 minus 1 is 2, so the depth will be 28 feet. All right. The first five rows of a number array are shown below. What is the sum of the numbers in row 8? So we are only here in row 5, so we need to do row 6, row 7, and row 8. Okay? So, if this is row 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight. So this is five, six, seven, eight. Twenty, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Whoops. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. All right. So now we've done all of our rows. See what I did? I drew it out. The best thing to do is always draw a picture. So it says, what is the sum of the numbers in row 8? 
So the sum means to add them all up. So let's add them all up. So we need to add twenty nine plus thirty plus thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, and thirty six. And when I do that on my calculator, which you should be doing as well as we're going through this, is I got two sixty. I got two sixty, so the answer is two sixty. When you add them all up on the calculator, you get two sixty. All right. This is our last one. Nancy decided to breed gerbils to sell at a pet store. She started with two gerbils and determined that they should quadruple in number every four months. Nancy sold all the gerbils to the pet store at the end of one year. How many gerbils did Nancy sell to the pet store? Now, this is very simple. We just have to break it down. So let's go ahead and break it down. So it says Nancy decided to breed gerbils to sell. She started with two gerbils and determined that they will quadruple, which means to multiply by four, every four months. She sold all of them at the end of one year. How many gerbils did she sell? Well, she started out with two. They multiplied by four every four months for an entire year. So how many months is that? Well, we have 12 months in a year. And if every four months, so 12 divided by four is three. So they quadrupled three times. If you can't do that in your head, you can go January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Every four months, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. There are three months where they quadrupled. So if you start out with two, the first month they quadrupled, and now you have eight. Okay? The second month they quadruple, now you have 32. And the third month they quadruple, what's 32 times 4? 128. So she'll have 128 gerbils to sell. Or she sold 128 gerbils. Very simple. Well, hopefully this has helped you understand how to find patterns in um, questions on the OGT. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher.